Listen up, I got a story to tell. Hey, fool, listen up, I got a story to tell. Say, dog, listen up, I got a story to tell. Man, I went to this liquor store, this is probably about a year ago, over here in Inglewood, California, right? And this cat walking in just being super disrespectful, like almost unbelievable disrespect. I'm going to get in line for I have to fuck one of y'all up. Oh, That's right, gang member. Now, if you come from a neighborhood like the neighborhood I come from, which is Watts, California, you already know, ain't no getting that off. Like, that always means something. It ain't never just the act of that. So, you can't let that fly, period. Everybody know that. And this nigga knew it when he did it. So let me tell you what happened. He come in the liquor store. I'm already at the counter ordering shit from behind the register. Like, how much for this candy bar? My man, I'm talking about it ain't no room. Like from here to here, he come between me and the register and like brush me out the way. No excuse me pointing out shit. He won't from behind the counter and going over to the little ice box. I'm like, bro, you ain't going to say excuse me? My man looked back at me like, How dare you even ask me to say some shit like that? So I say to myself, and I got my boy Al with me. I'm looking at him like, did you see that? Al looking at me like, you know what I mean? I'm like, I'm hot at myself because I didn't say something right then and there. and didn't do nothing. So I said in my mind like, yeah, I ain't going to never let that shit fly again. As soon as I say that, the nigga come right back and do it again. Like, like clockwork, right? So I'm looking at him, thinking about what I'm going to do to him. He ain't even tripping off me. That's how much I was a non-threat to him that he felt like. Okay, thinking about what I'm gonna do to him. I'm like, man, I could just hook this nigga and knock him out. Oh, damn! But I'm like, that might be much, and I ain't trying to really do that in here. So I figured, like, I'm just gonna shove the nigga out of my way. Like, and then if you want to do something, we can go ahead and do it. So I decided I'm gonna just open palm him to the body. So I went into a full fledged damn man, like a Mr. Miyagi. You ever seen a karate kid with a nigga warming shit up like this? I didn't do it for real, but in my mind, that was the preparation, and I just touch him, lay all my body into him, center of the chest, right? Thinking I'm gonna just knock him out the way. The nigga, the nigga must have been so light, man. He instantly became airborne. I just see the nigga floating away from the nigga. Have you ever seen a movie being made where they had a stunt double nigga to go backwards out of like a, a, a one of the plate glass windows? The, look, the shit looked something like that, right? I see the nigga floating. It looked like it was in slow motion. Nigga touched the ground, slither between the motherfucking potato chip rack, hit his head on the ATM machine. Now we do all that. I kind of panic a little bit. I'm like, I ain't trying to kill this nigga. I really wasn't trying to do all that. But I'm like, man, after I seen he went right, he looking at me, man, why you hit me? Why you hit me? All this stove type weird shit. And I'm looking at the people behind the counter like, bro, I ain't trying to disturb y'all stove. I ain't trying to cause no problems in here. I still got my work uniform on. That's probably why he sized me up like that. Like, oh, this nigga's a square ass nigga. No one respects your stupid little badge. Or your stupid little walkie-talkie. Mm -hmm. Or your yeah. stupid little well, patch. Whatever he was thinking. Like, okay. So, they telling me, don't even trip. They came from behind the counter. Grab him, throw him out. Ah! Telling me, like, he always coming in there fucking with people. Like, he a regular around there to come in there harassing motherfuckers. And the stole shit up out of there. So, they was happy I served him like that. Matter of fact, they gave me all the little punch shit I was from the bar for free. Like, man, you can have that, my nigga. Like, good looking for your services. Like, I'm like, okay. So I bag my little shit up, me and my boy Al, we kind of laugh about it a little bit. We get out of there. We get out the door. As soon as we hit the corner coming out the door, we see my man coming back. This nigga got reinforcements now coming back. He got to do it with him. I'm like, okay, it's me and my boy Al, two on two, like whatever they want to do. Like, you know what I'm saying? As they get closer, I realize that this nigga's backup is another one of my partners. He went to go get one of my own partners on me. Now, as they get closer... He pointed me out. He had a big nigga right here with the uniform on. My man Barry. That's where he went. Like, man, who you talking about? He like him. My man Barry get clarification that he talking about me. Instantly grabbed the nigga by the throat. <laughs> Instantly grabbed him by the throat and started strangling the nigga, right? <laughs> Slam him against the wall. Like, man, what you do? Like, you had to do something to this man for him to hit you. What did you do? Like, Barry tried to choke this nigga. This nigga looked like his eyes rolling back in his head and some old shit. I'm like, nah, B, nah, I got to get my partner off him. Nah, B, don't do him like that, man. He good. I'm already knocked the nigga all the way across the stove, man. Don't do the man like that, man. And I get my boy up off of him. Tell him to go and get on, man. Go and get on, man. It's over with, man. You did that. This is why I did it. So just get up out of here. I explained to my man B what the whole situation was. This is what he did. This is what I did. And we kind of just laugh about it. It was over with. 
but I'm just tripping off the whole thing when I thought about it. Look at the whole moral to the story, though. The nigga that you went to to be your savior ended up trying to kill you, and then the nigga that was your quote-unquote enemy, me, ended up having to save your goddamn life. Man, cold turn of events.